Hello, this is Hiroshi Hayashi, Hamama City, Japan, March the 14th, 2013, video number 226. Here in this video, I would like to, to explain about my Hiroshi Hayashi's theory on Nazca lines. This is a very important story, and、uh, no one is allowed to use my theories in any case without my name and permission. This is a sort of a, a, a direction sign in Nazca. And this is a direction line. Here is evidence. This is Atacama Giant,、uh, very far from the Nazca. And、uh, also, this is a sign,、uh, so the road sign from Nazca to Atacama、uh, Giant is about 825 kilometers too far away for the people. Uh, who lived in Nazca to get inference to each other. Anyway, this is Atacama Giant. Near Atacama, about, uh, 300, uh, near,、uh, about 300 years,、uh, yeah, no, 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 300 meters, there is a very strange sign here. You can see it. This is the、uh, Atacama sign,、uh, Giant in the circle. And here, in the,、uh, here, in here yeah, yeah, you can hear this、uh, very strange uh, uh, sort of a square here. Have a look at this here, right? This is very, very similar to, one, many,、uh, to many of the road signs in Nazca. And this is a very.、Uh, Be uh, this, uh, have a look at this、uh, line, of just a bit of a、uh, green line. And this li line comes from Teotihuacan, Mexico. And this line from Teotihuacan li line directly runs over the sign board. This is Atacama、uh, uh, road sign. And this is uh, uh, Nazca road sign. This is the evidence. All right. No one can、uh, in、uh, Nazca. Uh, can do, could do this because it's over 800, uh, uh, 800 kilometers to each other, theory two. And this part is wider and this part is narrower. And the reason is very simple because、uh, if you stand here, the line looks、uh, o uh, the same like this. I will show you on the, on the Google Earth. Have a look at this、uh, here, right? This is、uh, one of the sort of row s i g n in Nazca and stand up here, right? And、uh, if you stand up, stand here, the row s i g n looks uh, uh, like this.、Uh, okay, have a look at down,、uh, down altitude and the lower altitude. You can see the row s i g n like this. Now you see why it is、uh, wider at the leaving point and it is、uh, narrower. At the setting point. This is why, right? Because、uh, if you stand there, you can see far away、uh, in the same width. And this is the theory three. This point, black point, is a landmark. In most of the uh, sort of a sign, uh, sign, road signs in Nazca has got us this sort of. Black、uh, sort of dot a dot or sort of landmark which shows the direction more precisely or accurately. Have a look at this、uh, landmark here, 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 right? So,、uh, some has got, hasn't got t h a got a this sort of、um, landmark.、Uh, 400 is maybe、uh, de destroyed, or I don't know why. And here you can see the landmark too. Here is also a mound too. From this mound, Uh, many lines run to、uh, many directions. Okay, this is a landmark. This is theory four. And there are two ways to show the、uh, directions. One is a way on the right side, it's just a normal way to show the direction. Have a look at this、uh, road sign. This line, this line comes from uh, uh, mostly、um, of uh, uh, Qin, Qin Dynasty.、Uh, And okay, this,、uh, road, this road is showing the way to、uh, the Mausoleum of Qin Dynasty. In Japanese,、uh, Shin no Shikote Hebayo. And this line also, this, 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 have a look at this road sign. This is a road sign, kind of platform, but、uh, on the right side, the line will show you to Serpent Man USA. And the, the left line will show you to the、uh, Kahokia Mount USA. And、uh, Serpent Mount, Kaokia Mount, and、uh, 
uh, integrous uh, 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 are uh, on the same, just on the same line. Do you know that? Uh, and also, uh, there are two types of uh, landmark, uh, land road signed. This is a le left one is a uh, one, a new one, one uh, uh, comparatively. And uh, this one, have a look at this uh, uh, white line in the middle. Is that okay, this is a very straight line. Another one is like this. So there are two types of uh, lines uh, which show the directions. And this is a uh, f this is also there are there there are such and such uh, low signs in Nazca. This is uh, this uh, low sign shows uh, to the direction to a very very important place like the uh, like the uh, aliens bases. I will show you the one of them in the later videos uh, uh, follow which follow this. And if this is a platform on the right side uh, le left side and right side the wrong way. I understand. Platform is just platform where uh, maybe UFOs lands, landed over in ancient time. This is the platform. Uh, this is a very right angle square and uh, uh, comparatively large, 840 meters. Also, there is a sort of a platform which is a, a very large, like this. This is a detection sign, a wider and narrow. It's got a wider po uh, place and that, uh, a point and a wide, narrower place, na several hundred meters uh, in length. And this is theory six. And from the platform, you can go to many directions. Uh, I'll show you one of the examples. Okay, this is one of the uh, platform in the middle, in the center, and this line uh, will show you to, uh, uh, to take you to many important uh, places. In the middle of this uh, photograph, there is a platform, and also you can see many lines from the platform. For example, this line comes from Qin Dynasty. Mausoleum of uh, first uh, Qin Dynasty, and this is line comes from uh, Athens. You know Athens and uh, ancient Greece and uh, uh, Mausoleum has got the same three uh, D computer made uh, uh, statues. This is why, and also one uh, uh, mound shows uh, many directions from uh, from one point to many directions. Have a look at this here. Here is a, a mound. Okay, from this mound it show the direction to many ways, right? So this is a very important landmark. And also, theory eight. Uh, left one is a newer one, and light, uh, right one, right, right, right one, old, older line to older spot. So, for example, uh, to Dunfan to, to or to other places, or Nazca, no, 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 no uh, uh, Giza, th there are sort of a very old lines which show the direction to this place. And new, of course, newer line uh, run over the old, older one. This is another theory, nine. And this is an uh, older one, for example, and this is a newer one, right? The newer one runs over the old one uh, at, this, uh, at here. You can see that. This is another theory. And this is another theory 10. And also to a very important place, uh, there are, uh, there are two, more than two lines to a very important places like uh, uh, Kalakum or, uh, or sort of, a, yeah, t uh, this is a line to Kalakum landmark. And there's a landmark, uh, uh, this is a landmark, not a, not a picture for the ceremonial uh, or sort of things, uh, festival or sort of things. This is a serpent head. Okay, have a look. Serpent means snake. Uh, and also, this is a line from uh, a serpent man from USA, USA, from a serpent man. And also, this line is a serp serpent mind, serpent mount, line from serpent mount. Oh, and you, at the, besides the serp serpent mount, the yellow line is comes from the serpent mount, and on the right, uh, left side of this line, you can see the here you can scrolling serpent. This is a serpent. Uh, 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 they say that these are sort of just uh, lines, but this is a you can see the snake uh, head here, right? Another example is this Kalakum, Kalakumul. This is a huge uh, giant uh, 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 ruins in uh, Mexico, uh, as uh, large as or as big as uh, Teotihuacan, 
and now newly uh, 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 excavated, excavated and uh, and kingdom of snake remember this kingdom of snake this line comes from Kalakumul and watch here watch here this airline comes from uh, Kalakumul and you can find the same line in Nazca and here you can see the same picture here a uh, scrolling serpent another serpent Okay, have a look at this. So this is another evidence that these uh, sort of pictures shows a sort of a sign, sort of a raw sign to go to. Uh, this is left one is a kingdom uh, serpent from Calicum, and right one from Cam uh, is a sort of from a serpent mound. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, please watch the next video, which is very important. Thank you very much. Bye. Hello, this is Hiroshi Hayashi Hamamasete, Japan. This is a very, very important story for all the human beings. Uh, this is a Japanese version and English version will follow after 23 minutes and 6 seconds. Thank you very much. In Japanese, 皆さんこんにちは。今日はあのナスカの平原の大変重要な話をしたいと思います。ナスカ平原の線と絵は何であるか。このビデオを見てくださればみなさんはその答えを知ることができます。林宏に頭おかしいんじゃないかと思う前にぜひご覧ください。その上でご判断ください。これがテオティワカンです。古代の,、えー、古代のエイリアンたちのパイロットの,、まああのハブ空港でした。ここから、まあ、あのナスカの後あの世界へと飛んでいったわけであります。これがあのあ太陽のピラミッドです。あの横にあの山道の横にありますがあの、月のピラミッドよりも大きいものですから、こちらを起点にしています。ここからナスカへと線を引いています。黄色い線、縦の線がその線ですね。よく見てください。あのこの白いあ黄色い線。斜めやや右下の方へ降りていく線がこれがあの今、テオリア間からナスカに向かっている線であります。この線をまっすぐ引いてナスカへ来ます。するとナスカにはグランド十字架と私がグランドクロスと呼んでいる私がそういうまあすごく見栄えのいいと言いますか、はっきりとしたあの太い線を見ることができます。幅が20メートルから40メートル、広いところは70メートルあります。長さは10キロあります。この縦の線ですね。この縦のテオリア間からの線がまっすぐとこの線に重なるわけであります。このようにこの直線が重なるということはですね、大変あの精度が高い、極めて精度が高いということなんですよ。この線はナスカから、いや逆に言いますと、この縦の線はナスカへの方向を示しているということになるわけです。まあ、こんなことなら偶然,じゃ偶然の位置じゃないかと思われるかもしれませんけども、両方がいかに重要な拠点だったかということは、今まで何度も何度も繰り返し述べてきました。もう一度この線を見てください。この黄色い線は、両手間から引いてきた線です。まっすぐ重なりますね。これを皆さん自身で確認してください。あるいは自分であの確認してみてみください今度はあのあ地球を逆さまにします。上があの太平洋、インドで下がこう左下が日本です。で、上がインドですね。これが中国です。中国の、まあ、都、昔はシーアンですね。昔の、まあ、首都ですねあの。今は北京ですけども、長安、今の,昔今のシーアン、昔の長安ですね。シーアン、そこから33キロ離れたところにあの、いわゆる平和用。真の始皇帝が作ったとされる平和用があります。この真ん中のところが平和用です。今ここには平和用と言いますか、あの何,何万体と言いますかね、あのねあの陶器でできたその兵隊さんが眠っていますあ。ここにこの平和用からですね、まっすぐとあのナズカに線を引いています。非常に重要な拠,拠点だったらしいということはこれで分かるわけですね。まあ、このスケールが違いますから、ですからエイリアンが関与していたかどうかということは、ナズカへ線を引いてみれば分かるんです。これも林博史理論です。どうかあのどなたも東洋流用転用は禁止ですからご留意くださいでこの線をあのナズカ引いてきましたでこのナズカからあの線を引いてこれがですねナズカにきれいなプラットフォームが見つかるんですこれなんですねこの,線を,あの線を見てください黄色い線は今言った平和洋から引いてきた線なんですこのプラットフォームと平和洋からの線とが一致するんです完全に一致しますねこれは完全にパーフェクトということは使っていいと思いますあの使いますねもうパーフェクトにあの一致するんですすなわちこのプラットフォームはなぜか平和用への方向を示しているということはこれでわかるわけです。今度下の方も伸ばしてみました。これで皆さん確認できたと思いますね。このプラットフォームは完璧に近い、完璧,な完璧に近いね、完璧なほどもにあの平和用を示している。しかし平和用のもう一本線があるんです。よく見てください。あの重要な拠点に行くときには日本は新しい線と古い線とかいろんな線がありますが、この場合は平和用の場合、日本の線が見つかりますね。これが平和用への道を、これはもう完璧に、さらに完璧に一致するんですね。このように直線が一致するということはですね、100分の1、1000分の1程度までの精度が必要なんですよ。
たった30キロす,すれただけでもですね、シアマからの線は重なりませんから、大きくずれますから。あのこれがあの平和用からの線です。そしてここにマウンドさえありますね。ちょんとしたマウンドが見えますか、下の方に。さあ、そこでこのプラットフォームは何かということなんです。こういう線がある。これはあの滑走路という説もありますが、これはあのここにもありますね。じゃあこれは何かということなんですけども、私はこれと同じものを見つけたんですね。あたかまに。何千キロも晴れたところですよ。これはプラットフォームだというこから証拠を見せしますからよく見てください。これはナスカのプラットフォームです。これはアタカマの近く、えー、270メートル離れたところにあるプラットフォームです。形がよく似ているというか同じでしょ。よく見てください。ね、この長さは55メートルあります。そしてこれがアタカマのプラットフォームです。アタカマですよ。えー、チ,リチリですね。これがあナスカ、ペルーの,ああのプラットフォームです。同じでしょあの真ん中のプラットフォームの上に点が、蝶がついているところまで同じなんです。で、これは黄色い線はテオテア間から引いてきた線です。皆さんもテオテア間から引いたらいいと思います。これをよく見てください。このプラ,プラットフォーム、まっすぐ横にいますね。中央がかけるのはここに丘があるからなんです。線がちょっと切れるのはですね。しかし、この黄色い線はまっすぐとアタカマのプラットフォームを横切るわけです。これでこ,のこれがですね、あのナスカの住む人々によって書かれたものではないことはこれで証明できたわけです。さあ、同じものがあのアタカマにありましたからね。さあ、ここでもう一度このプラットフォームを見てください。じゃあ、これどうしてこれはこのものがあの逆三角形になっているようなプラットフォームかというのは理由があるんです。こっちのは狭いですね。で、上の方が広いです。なぜ狭い方がスタートポイントで、広い方がですね、上の方が出口なんです。どうしてかというとですね、これはここに立ってみればわかるんです。これはあの Google Earth の上でちょっと操作してみまして、だんだんだんだん高度を下げてみました。そして視点を下げてみますと、こういう形に見えるんですね。遠くほど広がっていますから、ここに立ってみますと、同じ幅で見えるんですよ、皆さん。これがエイリアンのすごく素晴らしいところというか、頭のいいところですね。このように出口を広くすることによって、プラットフォームを直線に見ることができるんです。ここがパレンケです。パレンケ。もう一つ色あの例を、別の例をお見せしましょう。別というか新しい例をお見せします。これがパレンケです。そのパレンケから同じようにナスカに線を引いています。まあ、何度これやってもですね、疑う人は疑うんですね。林修理して頭おかしい。私は事実を申し上げているだけなんですよ、皆さん。事実を申し上げるから、どうしてこんな日本で勇気がいるんでしょうかコペルニクスだったら殺されてますよ。まあ、これがあの直線ですね。そしてこれがあの。全くパレンケの線が重なるんです、ここで。しかし、重なるだけじゃないんですよ。この線には重大な秘密が隠されているんですよ。これからその重大な秘密を皆さんにお知らせします。いいですかこれがパレンケからの線で分かりましたねこれはまっすぐとパレンケからの線,線だ。これ言い換えますと、この線はまっすぐとパレンケを示しているんです。もう一度よく示しますから、よく見てください。この線には、極めて重大な謎が隠されているんですよ。今までのパレンケのあナスカの謎で皆さんが解けなかった謎がここに隠されているんです。これはハチドリの絵ですね。パレンケでも有名な、これナスカでも有名な絵です。さあ、このハチドリをよく見てください。いいですかいろんなナスカには地上絵があります。ラインピクチャーズがあります。このラインピクチャーズは何かという秘密を皆さん今日お知りになります。では、その謎を、というか答えをお教えしましょう。今言いましたように、これがパレンケから引いてきた線なんです。ちょっと緑色に色を変えまして、細くしましたから、邪魔にならないようにあの薄くなりましたが、これが今言ったパレンケから引いてきた線です。そして227メートル離れたところに、ここに絵があるんです。たったの227メートルですよ。エイリアンのクラフトから乗ってみれば、右下に見えるんですよ。ここに何があるか分かりますかよーく見てください、中ビューク、目を凝らして。そうなんです。ハチドリがあるんです、ここに。ハチドリはメキシコの鳥なんですよ。ペルーでも見られると頑張っている学者の先生いますけども、ハチドリといえばメキシコ、メキシコ、メキシコ、メキシコといえばハチドリなんですよ。至るところにこの鳥が飛んでるんですよ。すなわち、ここの線はパレンケであると同時に、その線のそばにハチドリの絵があるということです。もう一つの例をお見せしましょう。これはアメリカのサーペントマウンドです。インディアン自身はこれは私たちが作ったものじゃないと言っております。ヘビの形してるんですね。よく見てください、このヘビの模様。マウンドです。このヘビの頭から、またなぜかに線を引いています。皆さん、私は事実を申し上げてるんですよ。スピリチュアルの変、おかしなこと言ってるんじゃないんですよ。同じようにこのサーペントマウンドから引いてきた線が、まっすぐと重なる線が見つかるんですよ。ここに。寸分の狂いもなくサーペントマウンドから引いていく線がですよ。ナスカの上の線の上に重なるんですよ。この線が儀式用の線だとか、天文学の観測用のためだとか、そんなことを知るための線じゃないんです。
。もう一度引きますよ。よく見てください。何度説明したら分かっていただくら本当に歯がゆいですね、私は。これがあのパパパあのサーペントマウンドから引いてくださいなんです。さあ、この線をよく見てください。この線にも謎が隠されているんです。ここを見てください。この星印のところです。よく見てください。この今、その線の右に,右に緑の線が見えますね。色を変えました。これが今言ったサーペントマウンドです。ここにトグロを巻いた蛇のが見えますか、皆さん。蛇なんですよ、これ。サーペントなんですよ。トグロを巻いた蛇なんですよ。渦巻きというふうに本人は説明してますが、渦巻きじゃないんです。これはトグロを巻いた蛇なんで、その理由ももう少しで後で説明します。さあ、たったの223メートル、たなわちエイリアンたちはこの線をまっすぐ行けば、サーペントマウンドへ行くということをしてたわけなんです。今度は左側に置きましたけどね。大抵は右側に置くんですけど、左側に置いてます。さあ。では、その理由をお教えしましょう。ここにカラクルム。これも最近発掘されて、どんどん発掘されて、ティオティワカンよりも巨大だということが最近噂されております。そしてカラクルムは古代メキシコ、マヤ文明の中で,でもな、でもですね、最大級の遺跡なんですよ。いいですかこのカラクルムから、カラクウルムからですね、まっすぐとナズカに線を引いています。さあ、この線がある、で見つかりました。ここはプラットフォームになってますね。カラクルムからの線はですね、4本あるんですよ、このナズカには。その中の1本目がこれです。ナンバーワン、カラクルムと私は呼んでいます。これがいいですかよーく見てください。この線も、真ん中にね、滑走路の真ん中にね、あのちょんとした点がついてるのは、これまたあの憎いところなんですね。正確に位置を示すために、ちょんとしたその点がついてるんですよ。さあ、このプラットフォームをよく見てください。綺麗なプラットフォームですね。そしてこのえー、カラクールムからの線がまっすぐとナ,あのナスカの線を横切るんです。皆さんご自身でお確かめください。嘘や演じきしたってすぐバレることはするわけないでしょもう一本の線があるんです。二本目です。これもあのカラクールムから来た線なんです。何本もあるということはですね、カラクールムが一つだけ重要な拠点だったということを示すんです。これも林博史理論です。ティロリーです。どなたも利用転用投与はできませんのでご利用ください。この黄色い線を見てください。いいですかもう一度見せます。さあ、なぜここでカラクルムが出てくるか。そこでもう一度、よーく見といてくださいよ。この線にも巨大な大きなといいますか、このナスカの平原の謎を解く重大な謎が隠されているんです。さあ、これでプラットフォームを2本通り抜けて、この線が来たことが分かりますね。もう一つ、私がナンバー4と呼んでる、あカラクルムナンバー4と呼んでるあのラインがあるんです。この線は最も古いんです。ですからぼやけてますね。しかし、この線が最も重要なんです、皆さん。よく見てください。この黄色い線が今、カラクルムから引い,た引,いた引いてきた線なんです。なぜこの線が重要かというとですね、よく見てください。この線を、古い線を。皆さん見てください。お願いします。いいですかここを見てください。今、矢印のところを見てください。ちょっと見にくいですね。拡大してみます。よく見てください。この模様、絵は私が発見しました。どんな本にも載っておりません。これは何があるかと言いますと、ぼやっとしてますが、その気持ちを持ってみればわかるんです。先ほどと同じ蛇なんです。スネークなんです。トグロを巻いた、スクローリングしたスネークなんです。頭です。体ですね、これがぐるぐる巻いて。さっきの絵と同じでしょうカラクルムから引いてきた線が、いいですかこの蛇の真横を通ってるんで、左側の緑の線がそうですよ。よく見てください。そしてこのカラクルムというのはどういう意味かというと、蛇の王国、日本語で言えば竜の王国という意味なんです。そのことはウィキペディアの辞書にも出ています。真ん中にスネークキングダムと書いてありますね。カラクルムということは、ヘビの王国という意味なんです。そしてですね、いいですか、ディヴァイン・ローズ・オブ・ザ・スネーク・キングダムがカラクルムのもともとの意味なんです。スネーク・キング、ヘビと言いますとね、ミミチですから、竜の王国。ですから、王たちがみんな、サーペントという名前で使っているんです。上は、上の王はスクロール・サーペント。トグロを巻いたヘビ王という意味なんですよ。日本的に言えば、トグロを巻いた竜王という名前なんです。さあ、これで皆さんお分かりですね。どうしてカラクームの線の横に蛇の模様があったか、サーペントマウンドの横に蛇の模様があったか、それはこのコアラのマークを見れば分かるんです。コアラに行きました。えー、このマークを見る、まっすぐに沿って、線にまっすぐ来れば、オーストラリア行きますよ。OK? では、私はあなたをオーストラリアに連れて行ってあげましょう。と、まあ、コアラさん言いました。今度は逆に線を引いています。この黄色い線を見てください。これはあるところから引いた線です。さあ、いいですか消しますよ。ありますね、線が。この線を伸ばし、あのどんどんどんどんと元に戻していきます。今の黄色い線です。もう一度やってみます
。いいですか線を消しますよ。はい、消しました。消えましたね。線が残ってるでしょ。これはオーストラリアのあるところから引いてきた線なんです。もう一度やってみます。よーく見てくださいよ。今度は逆なんですよ。今までの手法とは。今度は線を消していきます。さあ、この線はどこ行くかということをよーく見てください。いいですかそうなんです。太平洋を横切って、そしてどんどんどんどんと南平洋の方へ伸びていきます。そしてオーストラリアやってきました。さあ、オーストラリアどこへ来たかもう気づきの方多いですね。エアーズロック。ウルルやってきたんです。魔食線になってくるんですよ。ということは、このウルルという山はですね、やはり何度も申し上げますように、これは人工的にそこに置かれた岩なんです。自然にここにあったわけじゃないんです。さあ、オーストラリアのコアラ行きました。分かったかい僕の意味が。と今、オーストラリアコアラベアが言いました。さあ、今度はもう一つの例をお見せしましょう。これはティワナクです。私はプーマープンクの方に興味がありますが、とにかくティワナクです。古代遺跡の中でも巨大な遺跡です。で、このティワナクからやはり同じように、えー、今度は上の方ですね。ナスカへと線を引いています。さあ、この黄色い線がナスカへ引いてきた線ですね、ティワナクから。そして同じように線を見つけることができます。もう何度もやってきましたね、この作業は。あの何度も繰り返しますが、天文学の観測上ではありません。そしてさっきのあの、手はあの、アタカマの滑走路を見て分かったでしょそんなに離れたところ同じもんできるわけないじゃないですか。で、これがあの、今言ったチワナクから引いてきた線なんです。そしてですね、まあ、このチワナクで、もうあるということですね。まあ、だからもう何十本も,もう今まで皆さんに説明してきましたが、その中の1、2例を最後にお話しますが、じゃあ、エジプトの膝はあるかということになるわけですね。最も重要な拠点の中の拠点、エジプトの膝はあるかこれがスフィンクスです。スフィンクスの頭です。このスフィンクスの頭とイーサー島線ですなくと、まっすぐとナスカを横切るんですよ。そのまっすぐで横切る線があるんですよ、皆さん。驚いちゃいけませんよ。さあ、この線です。この線は今、ギザのスフィンクスの頭からつないできた線なんです。ここに滑走路を見えますか広いでしょう出口のところが。そして、だんだん狭くなってきて、ここにプラットフォームが見えますかよく見てください。大きく拡大してみました。黄色い線はギザのスフィンクスから引いてきた線です。そして、出口が広くて、入り口が狭いでしょうすなわち、これはまさにギザのスフィンクスを示すプラットフォームだということなんです。が、これで驚いてはいけませんよ。もう一つ大きな謎が隠されているんですよ、このプラットフォームには。それを皆さんにこれからお話します。すべては林博士が発見したことです。流用、転用、盗用はできませんので、繰り返し見ますが、どうかご留意ください。さあ、この黄色い線を逆に伸ばしてみました。この,この線はまっすぐとイースターと行くんですよ。それは分かってますよね。だって、もともとなぜかというのはそういう場所に置かれたんですから。しかし、それだけじゃないんです。今度はだんだん線が広くなっていくんです。イーサートの方を示すようになってくるとまた別のプラットフォームが出てくるんです。さあ、よーく見てください。下の方にプラットフォーム見えてきましたね。上の線がエジプトのギザのスフィンクスからつないできた線です。さあ、このプラットフォームを見てくださいよ。いいですか大きく拡大しています。大きく拡大していましたよ。さあ、ギザのスフィンクスの頭から引いてきた線が一度は狭くなって、今度は広くなってますね。ということは、今度はこっち下の方が出口だということなんです。すなわち、このもう少し分かりやすく図式しますとこうなるんです。右の方がスフィンクス。あの下の下の下にエアーズロックと書いてあります。これはイーサートの間違いです。ごめんなさいね。イーサートへ行くんです。スフィンクスとイーサートとは一本の直線につながり、そして日本の滑走路があるということなんです。滑走路というかあのプラットフォームがあるということですね。さあ、こういうふうにして、まあ、いろんなところを見てきましたが、まあ、これエアーズロックがあります。私はね、あのこの絵をここに写真を入れたのは私の間違いですけども、ともかくエアゾックですね。さあ、もう一つの話をしましょう。さあ、これはサン・アグスティンという、まあ、エイリアンが作った残したものの中でも唯一ユーモラスな人間の顔をしたのが、この,あの,あの巨大石像物に残るあのサン・アグスティン。私この遺跡が大好きなんですね。というのはユーモラスですから。でこのユーモラスなそのサングスティンから線を引きますと、やっぱりプラットフォームが見つかるんですね。重要な拠点だったことはこれでわかるわけです。これがサンアグスティンから引いてきたプラットフォームです。下に見えますか黄色い線がサンアグスティンから引いてきたあラインですね。で、これサンアグスティンに来たわけです。さあ、このサンアグス,アグスティンのプラットフォームをもう一度やってみましょう。大きく見えますね。どうしてこれが、ね、謎を秘めているかというとですね、ダメ押しになりますが、私はこの
線に、大変気に入ってるんです。なぜかというと、その理由はですね、もう一度この後にお,お話しますが、さあ、このプラットフォームはですね、さあ、いいですかこれ分かりましたね。このプラットフォームはサン・アグスティンを示すプラットフォームだということは、ここで皆さん理解していただけたと思います。さあ、このサン・あフロあサンアグスティンですね、の線をですね、もう少し延長しています。ちょっと薄いですか見にくいですけど、これ薄い線があるんですよ。ここの岩まで。見えますかもうあの、細い線ですよ、今度はね。ここから細い線です。さあ、もう一個引いてみますかよく見てくださいよ。この線なんです。その先にこの岩があるんです。岩山が。これをぐるっと一回転していますね。で、今、あの三口線はあの右の方の白い線ですね。で、ここに絵があるんです。この絵がですね、よくわかりませんが、ほとんど消えかかってますが、現地で行けばわか,かると思いますね。そこに絵があるんです。この絵とですね、もう一度明るくしていますね。この絵とですね、そのサン・アグスティンの顔とどこかに行ってると思いませんかこれ2体がもう1枚ね、あの近くにあるんです。これがあのー、これ,はこれは山に描かれたラインピクチャーで珍しいんですけどね、近くにあるんです。というようなことでですね、つながりがあるということなんです。これがあのカウキャマン、最後にカウキャマンズあのを紹介していきましょう。あのアメリカ人の方の,、ね、あの,リ,あのリスナーが多いものですから、ちょっとアメリカへのサービスです。ハリウッド,ド映画の中によく、ね、日本刀が出てくるのと同じですね。まあ、これはサービスです。これはカウキャマンズです。あの今、アメリカ人のリスナーが多いものですからね。あのカフキャマウンズです。これが from カフキャです。カフキャマウンズもあります。さあ、この線を見てくださいよ。やっぱり同じにまっすぐな線が見つかりましたね。このようにですね、カフキャマウンズの線はですね、いっぱいあるんですけど、まあ、この左右のはちょっとずれますよ。真ん中の線がカフキャマウンズです。このカフキャマウンズまっすぐ行ったところにあのカラクルームがあるんですけど、まあ、それは別のところを話しますが。あのーこのカウキャマンズも一部の狂いもなくまっすぐとナスカの上に直線がある。着これは言い換えますとこの直線はカウキャマンズ行く。言い換えますとカウキャマンズにもエイディアンが関与してたということなんです。さあ皆さんはこれらのラインピクチャーを今でもこのビデオ今まで見てくださった方でね、皆さん今でもこれはただ単なる天文観測図の,のための線だと思いますか宗教的儀式のための線だと思いますか何千人というね、マヤ人たちが杭を打って、そして線を引っ張った線だと思いますかバカなことばっかり言ってますね。さあ、最後に皆さんに面白いのをお見せしましょう。ここのプラットフォームありますね。その横に絵があるんです。この絵が何であるか、いまだに意味が不明なんですけども、私はこの意味が分かりましたね。ここにあの V 字型の絵がありますね。これ皆さん何だと思いますか分からないでしょではその秘密を教えしましょう。いいですかそれはこのプラットフォームに隠さすぐ横から走っているプラットフォームに隠されているんです。このプラットフォームの意味で左下にあったでしょあの小さい丸のところ。このプラットフォームの線をまっすぐと伸ばしています。まっすぐと線を伸ばしています。まあ、私から見ればあ,なあ,なあ,なあ,のあちらの方がバカに見えるし、あちらの方から私を見ればバカに見えるんですね。これ相対性理論って言うんですよ。さあ、どちらが本当にバカなんでしょうかさあ、この線はまっすぐとここの山へやってきました。さあ、この山がウラウンなんです。どうしてウラウンかということはですね、はい、ビデオナンバー200を見てくださると分かります。これがエイリアンの故郷なんです。実に美しくて不思議な山なんですね。そのことはナンバー200で証明いたしました。これがエイリアンの故郷なんです。このビデオの最後にナンバー200をつけておきますから、英語版の後にご覧ください。そうしますとこの絵の意味は分かったでしょう逆さまにすれば、何のことない山なんです。すなわち、このプラットフォームは、ウラウンザに行く、彼らの故郷に行く線ですよということをエイリアンは自分たちの仲間に知らせたわけです。Thank you very much for watching and see you again next time. Bye! Hello, this is Hiroshi Hayashi Hamama City, Japan, February the 20th, 2013, video number 202. Today I would like to talk about a very important story about Nazca. And there are a lot of mysteries about Nazca, and here is the answer that I can give you.、Uh, before I talk everything about Nazca, please. Uh, keep it in mind that no one can use my ideas and theories in any case. Today's story starts from here, Teodiwaga, Mexico, International Hub Airport for a, a Ancient Pilot. This is a pyramid of the sun, bigger than the pyramid of the moon. And I draw a line from this、uh, pyramid to Nazca. 
yellow line shows the line to Nezuka. The line crosses over the Pacific Ocean, and the line comes up to here, Nezuka. Here in Nezuka, we can find the same line from Teoriwakan. Have a look at this uh, white line here. This yellow line comes from Nazca, and the Nazca line, there is a straight uh, about 10 kilometers long, 20 meter to 40 meters wide line is here. I call this uh, line, uh, two lines, Grand Cross in Nazca. Again, I will show you. Have a look at this very carefully because this is very important. Because these two lines are sort of widest and most uh, sort of a uh, uh, beautiful line in Nazca. And the vertical line shows a lot to the direction sharp to Teoriaca, Mexico. This is one of the fact, only one of the fact. Next, I draw a line from, this is Japan, this is upside down map of uh, Asia. India is here, China and uh, Xi'an, China. This is, uh, Xi'an used to be as the capital city of China. And about uh, uh, 33, 33 kilometers from Xi'an. Now you can, we can f uh, see the mausoleum of uh, uh, Qin, Qin, Qin uh, Emperor of China. And these are statues. Thousands of statues are here. And I draw a line from uh, this uh, mausoleum to, uh, to Nazca. This yellow line crosses over the North Pole and comes again to Nazca again. Okay, have a look at this yellow line. Okay, this is Nazca. And you can find the same line also in Nazca, but this is a platform, beautiful platform. One of the most beautiful platforms in Nazca. The yellow line run together with the platform. Have a look at this uh, line and platform very carefully again. Here again, the yellow line comes from uh, China and the line uh, runs parallel or just run over the platform like this. Again. And again. Okay. This, uh, then you will know this platform shows the direction to China. But there are two lines in Nazca, the same two line from uh, China, uh, uh, that's uh, Mausoleum. This yellow line comes from the, again, Mausoleum. Okay, again, Mausoleum again, again. This is a very important line. So sharply together run over it, over it. Okay, because there are two lines, which means the, the Mausoleum used to be very, very important for aliens. But you will ask me, why is this a Asian platform? Okay, this is, okay, have a look at this platform here. Okay, here. I found the same platform near Atacama of a thousand kilometers. Okay, this is a platform in Nazca, and this is a platform in uh, Atacama just near Atacama, about 200 meters from Atacama Giant. This is a platform in Atacama. Okay, this is a platform in Atacama, and this is a platform in Nazca. They are similar to each other very much. Remember this. And this line comes from uh, Teotihuacan. Watch very carefully. Okay, the line from Teotihuacan, yellow line, just right runs over it. This is evidence, okay? People in Nazca could not draw lines like that or on, in the fields. This fact indicates that this platform and the platform shows the direction to some places. Here is another recent evidence which shows that this is a platform. This, pla this part of the platform is wider and this part of the platform is narrow. This part shows the direction to China as I showed, I showed you. Stand here, and then you will know the reason why. Stand here, okay. Have a look at this, stand here. This is the actual view from the uh, sky. Okay, again. Now you know the reason why. 
because if if as uh, then you you will know this is a parallel running if you see it from the、uh, the platform from that direction. Okay, this is the evidence. This is the、uh, platform, whatever you say. Okay, I will give another another、uh, evidence or example. This is a palenque in Mexico. This is the palenque. From Palenque, you draw a line to Nazca again. If you, if it is a very major, important、uh, ruins, you can find the same line in Nazca. This is Hiroshi Hayashi's theory, which nobody can use. Okay, this line comes from Palenque. Yellow line comes from Palenque, and look at this white line here. Okay, right straight with the line. You can find the same right, the same line here again. Again, okay. Without any errors at all, without any errors at all, I say. Okay, again. This line comes from Planke. Okay, have a look at this. Then you will know so many lines and pictures here. In Nazca, you can find many, many lines, pictures like this, but nobody knows what these are. This is Hiroshi Hayashi, who would like to say these are kinds of signboard signs to、uh, to show which direction they would go. Okay, I will I will give you the evidence. I drew a line from Palenque to Nazca. Okay, this is a line from a green one this time. This line comes from Palenque to Nazca, and here. 227 meters away, you can find a beautiful line picture. Can you see this line picture? Have a look. Have a look at this picture very carefully. This is a hummingbird. Hummingbird. Hummingbirds are sort of symbol of Mexico. Of course, some little a bit you can find some hummingbirds in Nazca, Peru. But this this bird is a symbol of Mexico. You can many 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 hummingbirds in Mexico. That's why. Okay, I will give another example. This is serpent man in USA, mouth, head, and this is a snake. You know, a serpent. Both are correct to call this serpent or snake. Doesn't matter. This is a serpent mount in USA. I draw a line. I draw a line and to Nazca again. This yellow line, yellow line shows a line from serpent mount to Nazca. This yellow line comes from serpent mount directory. And watch here, right? You can find the same line again too. Okay, same line here. This is the okay. So the line shows the direction to each very important places of the world. This is a line again. Okay, again you can see the yellow line comes up from the serpent mount again, again, right? Again, right. So this is very sharply the this this line shows the direction to serpent mount from Nazca, and watch here very carefully. Watch here, watch here, watch here, please. Okay, have a look at it here, right? This is very important. Watch here. Can you see this line picture here? This is a serpent, scrolling serpent. Okay, scrolling serpent is here. The distance between them only are about、uh, not so many. Two hundred two 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 twenty-three meters. Okay, from the serpent mount, from the line. Green line is shows the line from、uh, serpent mount USA, right? And distance is only two hundred meters. Okay, the, these pictures shows a sort of a symbol、uh, of the place where you to go. You go to, and this is the Calacalam in Mexico. I will give another example, a very important example which I have found. Hiroshi Hayashi found this fact. This is uh uh, uh to uh sorry. Okay, next guy. Anyway, this is a line from the. Um, Calaculum, and this is line from Calaculum, and yellow. Have a look at this line. This line comes from Calaculum, and watch here. This platform. Have a look at this watch on here, right? There are four lines, same lines in Nazca, in uh, from uh, uh, the line with same as from、uh, with the line from、uh, Calaculum. 
okay, this is a beautiful platform, and this platform shows the direction to Kalakulum again. Then you may ask me, why Kalakulum? Okay, I will give you the answer very soon. Th this line comes from uh, Kalakulum, and you can find four lines. Another line is here, which means Kalakulum used to be very, very important major footfold for aliens. This is a line from Kalakulum, and have watch very carefully. Okay, this is the second line. And there are another line, and I will show you the fourth one. Okay, and again. Because fourth one is the most important line here in Nazgar. This is a line from Kalakulum, and you can find the same line in Nazgar. Okay, again, beautiful line. And it's a line from Kalakulum, line straight like this on these lines. Okay, another line which I call number four line from Kalakulum is here. This is the oldest and the most important line for uh, sort of uh, for aliens in ancient times. This is the line from Kalakulum. Looks vague and dim, but this one is look is a very major or uh, the most important one. You know the reason very soon, very soon. This is what I found. This is a line. Watch here, right? This is a line from Kalakram. And watch here, please, carefully. This, have a look at it here, here. Nobody realized this line picture except me. That means I, Hiroshi Hayashi, found this line picture. Can you see it here? Can you see it here? Yes, here is another scrolling snake here. Head, okay? And snake is here. Then you may ask me, why? Why? Snake is here just beside the line from Kalakulum. Okay, I will show the reason why. And you may understand what I'm saying here. Okay, this is a line picture just near the line from Kalakulum. Okay, this is a data about Kalakulum. Kalakulum is a snake of kingdom. Means, okay, snake kingdom. Okay, here you can see. Okay, snake kingdom. Divine laws of the snake kingdom. Kalaku, Kalahurukan. Uh, uh, Jawat, divine laws of the snake, and also, also the names of kings use the name of the serpent here. With upwards, a scroll, scroll, scroll serpent, and down with the great serpent. All these facts have been found by me. No one can use my ideas without my name and permission, right? These are line pictures. Now you understand how, what these are. Okay, this is a sign of, to Australia. Quara Bear said, this is a route uh, to Australia. Okay, I will show you the different, uh, another example. This is a line to, uh, this here line goes to Australia. I will show you, right? And now, okay, this time uh, from the Na from Nazca to Australia. Okay, have a look at this line, yellow line this time carefully, right? Okay. This yellow line, yellow line will take you to Australia, beautiful land which I have, well, I like the most. Okay, hey, good night, Australian people. I like you. This is uh, sort of my Japanese Australian Aussie. And we have a look at this yellow line to Australia. This yellow line goes to Australia, crossing um, Antarctic uh, oceans. Right here, we come to. Do you know where we come from? To Erzrak. Okay, this airline show goes to Nazca as I as you saw, and Erzrak is here. When such a dragman can't buy a, this is a short in Erzrak. See what I mean? The Korabir says. And this is uh, another one, uh, Tiwanaku. Uh, I show you another more examples. This is Tiwanaku. Okay, and I draw a line from Tiwanaku to back, uh, back to Nazgur again. Oh, very, I, I'm in more interested in Puma Punk. Anyway, this line will take you to. Okay, you can find the same line again in Nazgur. Again and again, I will show you. I have a show. I've shown you many, many times, many, many lines in this series of videos. But many people think me to be out of mind. But I'm not at all out of mind. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just a sort of an ordinary person, and I'm teacher and teaching children age from four to six, 
and I'm a teacher, right? I'm not out of mind. For over 44 years, I'm a t I've been teacher. Over over 44 years, how can I? Okay, again, this time, uh, it's the most important part of the world, Giza. If you cannot find the same line in uh, Nazca, you may think that I am wrong, but I can find, or you can find the same line in Nazca. I will show it to you. This is a line from uh, the top of the head of the Sphinx to Nazca. And here you can see a beautiful platform here, right? Wider and narrower, right? This platform, remember this, right? Then narrower. You can find this again, okay? The yellow line comes from Giza, Egypt, our Sphinx, head of, head of the Sphinx. And this line just, which means there is a platform that shows the direction to Giza. Okay, again, this is a line from uh, Giza, yet platform here, right? And this line also take you to Easter Island, because Nazca is just between uh, between uh, uh, Giza and Easter Island. Okay, yellow, have a look at this. Yellow, I'm very careful. This is a very important part of this uh, video, right? Which shows that I am right and correct. Have a look at this here, right, right? Again, and again, you will see the same, another platform here. This line will take you to Easter Island too. Have a look at this narrower here. There is another platform here, then wider, wider here, right? Right, right, this now again to Easter Island. Okay, one line shows uh, two directions. One is to Giza, another one is up in the opposite side to Easter Island. And wider here, right? Now you know what I have been telling you to write. Okay, this is a line which I found. Okay, have a look at this platform. Okay, wider and wider and narrower and narrower, right? This means it shows the direction. Okay, as a Oh, not air drugs. This is wrong. East Island. Okay, I'm sorry. East Island. Anyway, we have come to Australia, the the heaven of the world, right? Like this. I'm sorry. That that, that that's another. Uh, I I wrote uh, air drug, but that's was wrong. East Island was is is correct. And another example is Saint Augustine. Um, another ruin because I like this uh, ruins very much. I like this place because. Uh, people are very humorous here have a look at this is only one exceptional case for aliens to um, cur carve the sudden such a humorous man like this this airline comes from San Agustin okay and you can find the platform here beautiful platform for uh, San Agustin right San Agustin right here again I'll show you Okay, again, I'll show you uh, the line from San Agustin here. Right. Accept these fact as fact. I'm telling you the fact, not a fantasy, not a story, sort of f fake story, right? I am telling you the truth and fact. Okay, this is one of the fact, real fact. Okay, this is the platform and the line comes from San Agustin and comes up down here and line from I guess uh, Sir Augustine and you will see another fact right strange rocks here right a little bit lower here but you can find this very strange rocks here right okay have a look at this uh, 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 rock here and on the surface of the rock you can find a very humorous uh, figure of a man I suppose I don't know what this is actually as a matter of fact but I think this is a sort of a shape of a human uh, humans okay look at this it looks like an, a human for me but I, I don't know what this is because I, ha I have to go to Nazca to find it out and this looks like a uh, similar to the statue in San Agustin it's me here he said looks like that okay the last example of this Kaokia Mans USA the, mo the biggest uh, sort of um, uh, ruins in the uh, USA. Indian people say they have nothing to do with this uh, mound, so huge mounds. The I think the huge, uh, the biggest mound in the uh, USA or says uh, in the USA anyway. This is Nazca from Casper Kafka to Nazca. And also you can find the same line from uh, Kahokia Mounds. Okay.
day, but、uh, here are same parallel running、uh, very mysterious lines too. Again, I'll show you. This airline comes from Cahokia Mountains, USA. Okay, again. And again. Now, how many times should I repeat the same stories over and over again in the past? You're right. I have, I have repeated again and again and again in the past, but people are skeptical about, about what I'm saying. Now, what you know what these lines are? These are surely platforms, not a lines for astronomical observations for our sort of a ceremonial lines. Okay, I'll show you the last example. This is a line from here, right? This is a beautiful platform in Nazgar, too. Now, here you can find a beautiful line pictures here. Nobody knows what this is, but I know what this is. Okay, you can find the Just a line picture beside the platform. You can find, see this、uh, line picture here. Do you know what this is? Okay, I will tell you what this is. Okay, I draw a line or extend line to the west like this. Have a look at this yellow line. Very carefully, very precisely, and、uh, I, I draw a line like this over the Pacific Ocean. Now, Pacific Ocean,、uh, this line comes up here. And comes up here. You know what, it, where, what, is, what is here? Mount Ulawun. Mount Ulawun, which I call Adrian's home. See my video number 200. You will know this is Adrian's home. Very strange mountain and beautiful as well. Now you know what this line picture means, okay? Now, upside down, we can find a beautiful mountain. Okay, this platform shows a direction to Mount Urawun, their homeland. Thank you very much for watching and see you again next time on video number 100,、uh, 203. Bye. Hello, this is Hiroshi Hayashi Hamamase de Japan, video number 200, February the 19th, 2013. While I was examining the,、uh, a very strange rock in Nara called、uh, Masuda Iwafune, this is it. I found these lines show the direction toward Britain,、uh, New Britain Island, Papua New Guinea. But I didn't pay so much attention for the first time when I saw these lines. But When I examining, also have a look at it again. Okay, I'll explain it. This is Rock and Nara, Masuda Yafune, and Uru, Mount Ula One was here in New Britain Island, Papua New Guinea. I draw a line, but I didn't notice that this line would show the direction to Mount Ula One anyway. But while I was uh, uh, examining again、uh, in Dunfan and draw a line to Ula One again, I, s- I found that this yellow line will pass over the sea、uh, in China. And so I drew a back to line to sea from Mount Urawan. This is a line. And this line will just、uh, pass over the sea. And I found this very strange uh, uh, mountain, uh, sorry, pyramid, a huge giant pyramid in sea, just near sea. And、uh, there are several pyramids here in Siam, but、uh, these lines show the direction to Mount Ulawan, I found. So I drew a line f-、uh, from、uh, Cross Point to Japan at the angle of 150 degrees toward this. This, the, this is a very important line for the Japan.、Uh, it works as a、uh, datum st- a line for,、uh, in, f- f- in Japan. And I found gum just on the line between the Cross Point Japan and to the Mount U- Ulawan. And this is the a r Rock in Australia. Have a look at this hill line on the left、uh, side. This hill line comes from Mount Ulawan. Ulawan. I found this line also shows the line,、uh, shows the direction to Mount Ulawan, New Britain,、uh, Papua New Guinea. Airs Rock is here, and Mount Ulawan is here. 
So, s several times in the past, I found these lines in, on the earth, and I, I was uh, uh, beginning to think that Ulamun has something, something or special, and meant Ulamun, and this is this island on the right side, and I draw line uh, and the line here, and Fiji Island is here, and uh, it's very strange thing, you know. So, I, I just think about uh, what is Ulamun. Think uh, just uh, beginning to think of what Ulamun is, and this is Mount Ulamun, uh, New Britain Island in Papua New Guinea. Very uh, Fujisan look like uh, sort of look like in the Fujisan, so it is called among the Japanese sort of a uh, Mount Fuji in Papua New Guinea. And this is it, and in the from the center of this uh, Ulawan uh, volcano, I draw a line to Nazca to examine whether this is a very important uh, mountain or not. If it says this mountain is very important, I can find the same lines in Nazca. That is my theory. Nobody knows, or I found by myself. This airline is a com is a line is uh, from from the left is a line from uh, Mount Ulam. Here we come to uh, Nazca, and I was very surprised to know that so many lines from uh, Ulawan on on the same lines in uh, Nazca. This is one of them. Have a look. This is number one, and uh, another one is here. Yes, yeah, this one. These are all parallel running, parallelly running to each other, and this is it. Right, another one. So. I didn't know that, that there are so many lines like this, uh, which runs, which run parallelly to each other. This one is another one. So just have a look uh, very carefully. It's very, uh, and again, again, again here, right? Okay. Uh, so I just uh, becoming to convince or make sure that. Uh, that Urawan in uh, New Britain Island, Papua New Guinea is uh, one of the most uh, important uh, aliens uh, sort of a uh, footfold or uh, I, might, I, might, I might say base, a kind of base. Have a look again and again and again, right? But there is a small bit error and uh, not exactly on the same line. Uh, they are not exactly the same line. A bit error if you examine them precisely. But still, uh, you can, as you know uh, from these photographs, uh, you, you will see that these lines are sort of uh, lines which show the direction to Mount Ulaman, Papua New Guinea. Again and again, so many. So many. Again, can you see the vey line here? Yes. And also, this uh, this is a very beautiful platform just near these uh, uh, lines. And the line, uh, this air line comes from also, of course from uh, Mount Ulam. And also, this line go pass through the platform like this. Okay, again, I will show it. This part around part around here is one of the most important part of uh, sort of a, uh, so, so, uh, where many important lines gather together. Okay, also you can see the line uh, platform here, uh, which shows the direction to uh, China Sea and also here again. A bit earlier, but this line is sh sharply shows the direction to the direction uh, of uh, Mount Ulawan, Papua New Guinea. But this is this one looks most important line for the aliens because it is a it looks very very old. On Nazca, it's when it show it seems uh, it looks like an old line, which means uh, the uh, mountain or sort of the direction uh, something is very old and important. Have a look again, the same line. <laughs> 
the old one. Okay, so this this has this line has got no errors at all. So I th I think this line is the most important one for aliens, not human beings, right? They say these lines for sort of a sort of astronomical observations or something like that, but that is not correct. That is not true. And this is uh, uh, Mount uh, 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 Koipasa, Sara de Koipasa, Bolivia and Chile. And uh, it's, uh, it's one of the bases uh, I, I found. Okay, I draw a line to Nazca. I will show you another example. This line, the yellow line, comes from the uh, Sala de Coipasa, another alien's base. I will show you the video later on, how, why I think I became to think so. Anyway, this yellow line comes from the Coipasa, Mount Coipasa. It's got two lines in Nazca. One is one of them is he is this. Koipasa has got a two lines in this guy mean right, and this is a new one. An old one is a, is just up a side of this Nesca. Uh, this is a Kinabar, uh, uh, Malaysia, uh, in uh, Borneo, Malaysia. I draw a line to Nesca again. This is one of also uh, aliens base. I am sure because this uh, Sphinx of uh, Egypt. Uh, seeing, watching the direction to this uh, Mount Kinabalu, as I have told you in the past. Okay, line from Mr. Masson, Mount Kinabalu is here, right? This is the line, and we, we can define the same line here. This yellow line comes from Mount Kinabalu, and uh, very straight. Also, this line will take you to uh, Athens, Aklapos, or Parthenon. But this is the line, anyway. Line from Kinabaru. And three get three lines gathered together around here. That is very strange. Or these three lines shows the sort of their bases together. And this line comes from uh, Mount Ulawan, right? And these three lines gathered gather around here. One of the around here is a very important point. So many lines also here, right? Why? I don't know why. This is a very exceptional case, as far as I know. This is Mount uh, Ulawan, uh, New Britain Island in Papua New Guinea. Beautiful mountain. Shows, I'm sure, there must be something or there are alien agents based in this mountain. What do you think about this mountain? Maybe I can g get more evidences very soon. Am I wrong? See you again next time. Bye bye. Hello, this is Hiroshi Hayashi Hamamase de Japan. This is uh, video number 197, February the 16th, 2013. Today I would like to talk about uh, the mystery of Nazca uh, and the mystery of the ancient uh, civilizations. This is Parthenon Acropolis Athens. I, I draw a line, yellow line, from uh, Parthenon to, toward um, Giza. Uh, th today, I would like to draw a line to uh, the head of Sphinx, uh, just near the pyramids. This yellow line is it, uh, from uh, uh, Parthenon to uh, the head of the Sphinx. This is Giza. And... Uh, you can see the, uh, uh, just uh, hard to see it, but uh, this is Sphinx head. This is Sphinx head here, right? And I draw a line from uh, uh, the Parthenon, and uh, also from Giza, uh, uh, this is Athens. And line from, uh, this is Teotihuacan to Giza. Teotihuacan to Giza. And this line is from Easter Island via Nazca. And I measured, I measured the angles between them, 44, 6.68, 15.00 degrees, this is very sharp, and 59.06 side. So the angles between them is 45 and 15, or in 60.0 degrees from uh, uh, the line, between, between the two lines. And this is Giza, and I draw line Nazca. And uh, 
this is the west pole uh, this is the cross point with uh, the equator uh, and we uh, equator with the and the line from east island to uh, giza and this line is just sharp uh, is line to atacama from the west pole the angle between them is um, 14.82 uh, just uh, ju that's uh, 15 degrees this is Atacama Giant. And can you see the red line here? This line is a line from the West Pole at the angle of uh, uh, nearly 40, uh, 45 degrees against uh, the equator. And uh, this Atacama line, Atacama Giant, shows a direction to Mount Koipasa. This is Mount Koipasa. Then you may ask me why Mount Ko Koipasa, Koipasa, this is Mount Koipasa, right? Very uh, huge uh, volcano, uh, just on the line, borderline between uh, Chile and Bolivia. And here is the reason. Okay, I will show you the reason why. This is a yellow line, is a line from Koipasa to Nazca. This yellow line goes to Nazca, uh, and this is Nazca, about uh, 890 kilometers. And this line, yellow, have a look at this yellow line from Koipasa, Mount Koipasa, right? And this, uh, Koipasa has got a line in Nazca. This is a line, very old and uh, vague or dim in a, in a sense. And this is a line from Koipasa again. This is the yellow line comes from the, like Koipasa from the right down. And the yellow line, uh, that means that uh, in Nazca, Koipasa has got a line, I say, and again. Okay, this this indicate this line looks very old. Okay, uh, that means uh, looks old and has uh, eroded some some parts of the line that has been eroded. This indicates that the Koipasa used to uh, was uh, is a very old uh, sort of uh, uh, Indian's uh, foot foothold. Okay, and another line I can find from Koipasa. Uh, this this look this line looks new, right? And this here line. Uh, comes uh, it comes from Koipasa again, and I have a look at this white line here, right? Also, this indicates that uh, Koipasa has got two lines in Nazca. Okay, Koipasa is here again, right? Koipasa, this yellow line is is from Koipasa, and Koipasa has got two lines, which indicates that Koipasa is a very very important major footfall for aliens. Okay, back to Athens again. This is Athens. And I draw a line here again to Nazca. Nazca. And this is the line from Athens. And the yellow line comes from, uh, uh, from Athens, uh, uh, Parthenon. And have a, have a look at this uh, white line here. The line from uh, Athens got also a line has has got a line in Nazca. This L line comes from Nazca and it's got a line here in Nazca too. Okay, have a look at this beautiful line here. Beautiful line from uh, Athens. Okay, now you can find the uh, same line in Nazca, which indicate that uh, Athens is a major, also major foothold foothold for aliens. Okay, have a look at this uh, line again. Beautiful line, but something is something is uh, sort of strange about this line. You will notice long enough about uh, 1.48 kilometers, 1.5, one and a half kilometers, very long. And this line has got uh, two platforms. Have a look. Have a look. This one platform, platform here. Another one platform here. This line is between the two platforms. This is one of the mystery, right? Mysteries. Why? Platform one is here, and platform two is here. But uh, real mystery is this. Have a look at this width of this uh, line. The line width of this line is 12.08 meters, and width here is uh, 10.9 meters. According to my theory, Hiroshi Hayashi's uh, theory, the starting point of the line is uh, narrower than the uh, point of uh, leaving point. Why? 
if this line shows the direction to uh, uh, Athens, it is uh, vice versa. Okay, have a look at this alien here in the in his aircraft. Okay, if the starting point is uh, narrower like this, you can see the line from the far far behind as uh, 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 the same line like this like this. All the sort of platform has got a narrower and wider uh, ends. Of course, a narrower end is a sort of a platform for aliens uh, to start traveling. Then alien can see the uh, line uh, sort of a uh, straight with the same length, uh, with, sorry, with the same width. Then why? This is my mystery. Why uh, this line has got uh, sort of a so a different uh, 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 is a different from other planar lines. This is a Hiroshi Hayashi theory. So, I, at this moment, no one can use my ideas and theory in any case without my permission, right? Remember this. And this back again to uh, uh, the Sphinx. Okay, I found the Sphinx at which the Sphinx is looking. Okay, have a look at this uh, Sphinx. Sphinx is uh, sharply looking at uh, at this uh, at this uh, direction, not the not to the east exactly, a little bit down down right to the east. And this here line shows the direction at which the Sphinx is looking at. And the line comes from comes to Kinabalu, Borneo, Malaysia. Now, okay, have a look at this. This is Mount Kinabalu. This is a very strange mountain in Borneo and uh, highest, about 4,100 uh, 4, meters in added altitude. This, have a look, this line, yellow line, is from Kinabalu to Nazca. Okay, because watch this line very carefully again, too. Thank you. This line comes from Kinabalu to Nazca. And line from Kinabalu, okay? And have a look at this, the same line from Athens. The Kinabar line uh, runs over again to the same line. Okay, line from Kinabar. Okay, have a look at, okay. Again, I'll repeat it, I'll repeat it again, right? This line is from Kinabar, Borneo. Okay, just right straight on the line without any inch of errors. Have a look very carefully. Okay, this yellow line comes from Kinabar, Borneo, uh, Malaysia. Have a look again, because this is very, very important. Now you agree that this line shows the direction to Kinabar, Borneo. Also, as well as to the direction to Athens, Acropolis, Personnel. So this line shows the two directions. One is to Athens, another one is to Kinabar. That's why this only this line has got two platforms. Okay, two platforms or runways, two platforms. Now you you I can solve the mysteries of the why this line has got two platform and the line has got new, sort of a sort of a shape anyway. Because Kinabalu is a major footfall for aliens. Okay, you may ask me why Kinabalu? I will tell you the reason why very soon. I have told about this mystery several times. Just have a look at this Sphinx again. And his, look at his face again. This is a Sphinx in Igiza. His nose is destroyed in some, for some reason. And his mouth is cut off, caved, carved off. Why? And watch here. This is evidence. This his face was modified or amended or carved off. His uh, his eyes are very looks very strange, you know, with a very ugly eyes, and naturally carved eyes. And have a look at this horizontal lines. This is a poorly, very poorly carved. You may ask me why he is and where who he is and where he is from. I'll tell you where who he is and where he, he is from. Of course, he is from Kinabar Borneo. The Sphinx is a man from Kinabar. You may be surprised to hear this. Okay, this is an Aborigine living in uh, northern 
uh, part of Borneo uh, living, right? This is uh, Aborigine. Have a look at and, and com have a compare, com compare with them to each other. This is Sphinx. This is uh, an Aborigine now living in Borneo. Okay, have a have a look at these uh, photographs. Okay, compare them. The Sphinx is looking at the Borneo, uh, Kinabar Borneo, and Borneo. There are uh, people, uh, Aborigines, like him. Okay, have a his eyebrow. Very similar. To have a look at this eyebrow. And nose. Of course, the nose of the Sphinx was uh, destroyed. And his chin. Mouth. A little bit protruding mm, teeth and hair and cheek, upper cheek and hair like this. They resemble to each other very much except this Sphinx ugly eyes. So I said his eyes, um, Sphinx eyes were modif modified or carved wrong. Asian didn't like his face because he looks like an Asian. That's why they modified. The original face of the Sphinx was like this, I suppose. Okay, this is Mount Kinabalu. Beautiful mountain. The Aborigine is living just down, down uh, near here, right? But uh, the Aborigines uh, around here say that this is a mountain of death and this is a very sacred place for the Aborigines living here in Borneo, they say. Then I, I, I found that this is around the uh, Acropolis and as like this. Thank you very much for watching and see you again next time. Bye. Hello. This is Hiroshi Hayashi Hamama City, Japan. This is a sort of a supplemental video for the video number 186 and I would like to talk about a little bit more about the face of the Sphinx Egypt. First of all, I, 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 like you, I would like you to watch his face again very carefully. Uh, his, fa his eyes are very unnaturally uh, modified or amended and his uh, eyes uh, have a look at this his eyes and uh, I think this his eyes has been made to be uh, like uh, more like an uh, Western people and his nose is cut off uh, and uh, uh, in order to know this fact uh, you are advised to see the, some uh, Sphinx reproduced by Egyptian these are sort of a replica or reproduced uh, uh, Sphinx but these uh, looks like uh, these uh, faces of these uh, Sphinx are sort of Western peoples, and uh, they look like a Western people, not any, not Asians. But the Sphinx in Giza is like this. Can you see the difference? His uh, sort of a big chin with uh, sort of uh, yes and low nose with low nose and uh, he's got a low nose and this is a sphinx in the gizzard he's uh, he looks like uh, more uh, Asian th rather than Western uh, people then you you may want to know where he is from I'll show you where he is from now right he is from Borneo near Mount uh, Kinabaru here are some evidences. This is Borneo, Malaysia, and Kinabalu is here. This is Mount Kinabalu, the highest mountain uh, in Asia, as well as in uh, uh, um, Borneo, Mount Kinabalu. A very strange shaped uh, mountain, a volcano. It's a beautiful mountain. Yes, really beautiful. And from the top of the Kinabalu, about uh, 4,100 meters high, I draw a line toward or up to uh, 
Sphinx from here. This red line will go to uh, Sphinx directory. And can you see the yellow line on the right, on the right side? Yes, this is a line from mid Mount Kinabalu. Have a look at this uh, line very carefully. Okay, yellow line uh, go through the Sphinx because this is very difficult to, to, to say the uh, direction because uh, Sphinx was taken from the uh, southern upward, right? So I draw a line between the on the same level uh, of the Sphinx level in height, and this line come from also uh, Kinabalu. Have a look at this yellow line very very carefully and watch here, right? The yellow line just. Uh, uh, come comes up here at the edge of um, at the end line of the pyramid. These two facts indicate that p uh, pyramids in Giza show the direction to Mount Kinabalu. Do you agree? Then you may want to know why why the line comes from uh, the uh, f pyramid and the uh, Sphinx faces uh, uh, toward uh, Kinabalu. Here's a man aboriginally in northern Borneo. Okay. He's, uh, he's an Aborigine. Of course, I don't know his name, but uh, he is really Aborigine in Borneo. Please have a look at his face carefully again. Don't you think that he looks like M Mr. Sphinx in Egypt? Okay, have a look at this. Compare them, you know, again and again. Though his eyes, Sphinx, uh, Sphinx eyes, have been modified or amended, but his face, uh, Sphinx, is, uh, uh, is, it looks like a very much uh, 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 an Aborigine in uh, Borneo. This is why Egyptian didn't want his, uh, his face and uh, modified uh, his uh, Sphinx face. They cut off his no short nose. And have a look at this. Even he's uh, uh, tried to carve off his uh, protruding, protruding, protruding teeth. Okay, for, for further details, please watch my video number 186, which, follow, uh, which will follow this video. And I think the original face of the Sphinx was like this. So, Egyptian didn't like his face. This is the reason. Please see you again uh, for watch this video. Hello, this is Hiroshi Hayashi Hamama City, Japan. It's my great pleasure that I can talk about the mystery and its answer of the uh, Sphinx in Giza, Egypt. This is a very important story for the Western people, so I would like to explain uh, it uh, in, in English. But before uh, I talk about the answer uh, of the Sphinx in Giza, uh, I would like you to watch video number 885, uh, and uh, you will know that the uh, uh, Sphinx in Egypt was created by aliens, not human beings. Here is the evidence. Hello, this is Hiroshi Hayashi Hamama City, Japan. It's my great pleasure that I can talk about the greatest mystery of the Sphinx, Giza, Egypt. What is he looking at? This has been a sort of mystery for a long time, even for me, but I think I could solve the problem or mystery. This is Sphinx, Giza, Egypt. And what is he looking? But it's not easy to find the direction uh, at which Sphinx is looking because uh, uh, photographs of the Google Earth is a uh, bit tilted from uh, north uh, upward and uh, I, I have tried, uh, tried to draw many lines from Sphinx to the east. This is a Sphinx from the uh, space. Anyway, this Sphinx is a little bit tilted, uh, and it, this photo was photographed or taken from uh, north upward, upward. So uh, it is difficult to know the direction to which they are at which the Sphinx is looking. But I try to uh, know the direction, uh, exact direction at which the uh, 
that things looking is. Uh, sorry for my poor English speak, uh, with a very poor vocabulary. And this is a pyramid, and I draw many lines. I drew many lines, and I found at last uh, that these two point on the same level, uh, means uh, on the same height, right? And that uh, I draw a line between them and extend the line uh, to the east. This yellow line shows the direction to at uh, the direction at which the Sphinx look is looking. And have a look at this yellow line. And this yellow line will uh, uh, show the direction. Uh, 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 or the line will come to uh, somewhere here and somewhere here. It is uh, difficult to know the exact uh, sort of direction uh, of the Sphinx. Anyway, this is the line comes up here around Borneo, Indonesia. Uh, this is uh, Borneo Island, but not island, the largest island in the world, bigger than much bigger than Japan. But what is here? This is very important. And this is uh, the highest mountain uh, called uh, Kinabalu, uh, 4,000, uh, 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 as far as, uh, it's about 4,095 uh, meters. And uh, the highest uh, mountain around here, as well as in Asia. The, these photos are from Google Earth. 3D uh, photographs. And this is a real photograph of uh, Kinabalu, Indonesia. We, I could find this highest mountain, and, and uh, I'm sure this, uh, uh, sorry, uh, the Sphinx is looking at uh, this mountain. I will show the evidence, okay? He said, I, I'm sure that I think he's looking at uh, Mount Kinabal, Indonesia. I, I will show you the reason why with evidence. Okay, have a look at this uh, again, uh, again, uh, this line between uh, Sphinx and Kinabal. Remember that the Sphinx that, uh, does not look at the east exactly. And this is Kinabal, and I draw a line toward Nazca. It is a uh, very easy to know that uh, this Kinabal is important for the aliens or not. Just draw a line to Nazca. Then you will know the fact. Okay? I draw a line. This is Nazca. And have a look at this yellow line from the left, right? This line comes from uh, Mount Kinabal. Okay, this line comes from Mount Kinabal. And have a look at this yellow line and the uh, Okay, have a look, have a watch here very carefully. The line, yellow line, just crosses over the white line here. This means, this means, or this indicate that the Mount Kinabalu is a very important place for aliens. Have a look at this again. Okay, have a look at this again, okay, very carefully. Again, and and yeah, I'm sure you know that uh, the yellow line. Uh, crosses over the uh, white line in Nazca. This means that uh, uh, Kinabalu is a very, very important uh, po po point or uh, place for aliens. Again. And again. The yellow line, again, comes from uh, anyway, Kinabalu, Mount Kinabalu. Can you be skeptical about, about what I'm saying? It is very rare things that, you know, two lines come together like this again. Have a look at the dot here, right? And the yellow line comes to dot. This, this means this white line shows the direction to Mount Kinabalu, which means also that Kinabalu is a very, very important for the aliens. Do you agree with me or not? So, Nazca line shows, uh, one of the Nazca lines shows a direction to Mount Kinabal because the mountain is very, very important for aliens, as well as for the Sphinx. So, this fact I, I'm sure indicate that there must be something important in the mountain for aliens, or this is one of their bases on the, earth, on the, on the Earth, which we don't know, human beings don't know. There must be something in this mountain, I'm sure.
Okay, see you again on video number 186 very soon. Bye. Bye for now. Uh, thank you very much for watching, uh, having watched uh, video number 185. And here is again, back again to 186. And please watch uh, these photographs carefully, and you will notice that this uh, Sphinx was uh, modified or amended in some part. Have a look at this uh, unnaturally opened eye. This was apparently uh, modified by later uh, someone anyway uh, his eyes has been and have a look at this his nose his nose is also carved off uh, means um, uh, cut off uh, the reason is very simple because uh, the Sphinx uh, di uh, does not look like an uh, Egyptian or Western people uh, he looks like more more like an Asian especially an Aborigine in Borneo uh, his eyes is very. Uh, he, th these are photographs of the uh, uh, taken by someone about the people in Borneo Aborigines. Have a look at this uh, Aborigines in Borneo. Okay, he he. This photo uh, was taken by someone uh, in Borneo, and uh, just compares uh, these photos to each other. Apparently. Uh, Sphinx was a uh, model, uh, sort of uh, made. Uh, anyway, anyway, wh whatever thing is believing, you know. Just see this uh, photograph, okay. Now you know that the model of the Sphinx is an Aborigine in Borneo. I can say that, and then he is not. He is also looking at the homeland in Borneo. Okay. Of course, e Egyptians in those days had no idea about the aborigin in Borneo, but aliens did. Aliens who could fly over the lands. This is the answer to the mystery of the Sphinx Giza. Thank you very much for watching, and see you again next time in, on video 187. Bye.